Being a journalist requires me to be a frequent flyer, but today I'm about to take a plane that flies below the clouds. Normally. Hello, instructor Tian. Hi, you're very welcome. Is this a plane we're going to take later? No, that's not. The plane we're going to take will be much smaller. This one has eight seats. Ours only has two. In recent years, more and more Chinese have fallen in love with flying. Some of them have even learned to fly a plane professionally by themselves. But most of them are just like me, who are looking to try out a fly seeing tour. Oh, look at this! It's so beautiful! The flying tour usually lasts for 15 minutes. Customers even have a chance to temporarily become a real pilot. And experience zero gravity. Whoa, stop, 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 please! In the past one or two years, the low altitude economy has become a buzzword in many Chinese local government's development plans. The term refers to the numerous manned and unmanned aerial activities, typically below 1,000 meters. In 2023, the scale of the low-altitude economy sector increased to 506 billion yuan, marking a remarkable growth rate of over 30%. This year so far, I have strongly felt the significantly increase in attention towards our general aviation. They are from both the government and public sides. Also, more and more people are involved. For example, as we primarily focus on pilot training, the demand for such training classes has increased significantly in recent years. During April this year, Wuxi's government issued a three-year action plan focusing on low-altitude economic development. Accordingly, airports inside Wuxi are aiming for wider scopes of business. We are planning to develop some business projects, combining low aerospace with sports and tourism. Also, we will accelerate efforts to establish the low-altitude industrial park. It should gather the industry's services, research and development, and manufacturing.